say, customers uh, reported uh, this unit has um, tripped the RCD, so the earth leakage strip, and took all the power out. So uh, we've got the mega, and let's pop the cover off. Oh, the torch is going to go flat. Um, pop the cover off, and uh, pop the other torch. Off and see what's going on. Yeah, not happy. Okay, it's a bit tight for space in here, so we're a bit too close. But uh, anyway, um, nice to tie their lead in a knot. Right, we've got the uh, one lead earthed onto that capillary, which is stainless steel. Anywhere, any bit of bare metal or copper pipe we should do. But we'll confirm that by going on the earth post, hit the test button, and that's showing a short. Um, one mega's getting wet here. The pipes, the other units come over our heads, so they're dripping on it. Let's uh, move that over a bit. Okay, so first thing we want to do is confirm that we have actually got a short. So we've got on one of the phase wires, on the red phase. That's looking like a short. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be all three, but we'll just do them all out of habit. All three, yeah. Because they should all be connected together in the windings. Yeah, they're short. And then if, if you haven't, if that tested okay, what you want to do afterwards is confirm that you've got, still got a good earth. Um, just in case that lead had fallen off or something. Um, but anyway, so we've got the power locked off. They've got the breaker off as well. Um, there's no control wire, it's self contained. Um, there's no external control wire. I mean, we've got a three phase in, and then that we use one of those phases as, as a control circuit. Right, so probably the easiest thing is to get nut driver and pop these wires off here. Um, and I was saying that, I might just pull the wires off the compressor first, we can pull them off of there, and then that will isolate the compressor, because um, it could be the fan motor. Um, I doubt it's going to be the control circuit, because the contact would be isolating uh, the three-phase supply, although it could be going back up the neutral for the fan mode because it's a single-phase fan. So anyway, I think we'll pop these wires up the rear. Okay, we've got our three phases, wire, three phase wires off of the uh, winding connections. Um, so we could test either one really, we'll go for that. That's going to be good. And tell how quick that car shot up. 60 grams, they're all going to be something like similar I would think. One lower if it's got the fan motor on there, but yeah, and then we'll confirm we've got a good earth again. Yeah, good earth, right? Let's go on the compressor terminals. It's a dead short. Um, I don't think it's going to be, but what we would do, I think we'll pop the. Um, well, we can do that anyway because that'll be interesting. Uh, this is a three-phase motor wired in star. So, hang on. Then wires off. Um, yes, yeah, it's a three-phase motor wired in a star or a Y shape. One live goes on to one point of the Y, live two on the second one, live three on the third. And then where the other ends of those, these legs is, they're joined together with a clickson. Basically like a big round disc um, that joins the three wires together. Um, unless it, it's a bimetallic disc, so if it gets too hot it bends and disconnects the windings at the star point. Shuts the compressor down. Right, that's, that's that one. That's going to be okay. And we've got the second one. 
that's the shorted one. Go short. And we've gone the third one. That one's going to be okay. So we've got one burnt winding. And then we should find the same on these other ones here. So that one's okay. That one's okay. And that third one should be the shorted one. Unless it's completely broken. Yeah, dead short. So it's, it was that between that one and that one. That's one winding. And that's the one that's failed. So it's time for a, a new compressor as a minimum. I think this is a two horsepower. Um, but the condenser's rotten on it. has had it and it's too small it should be one that size it should be five horsepower or probably a four five if it's a hermetic because they're not as efficient and probably a four if it was one of these this style um, years ago that was the there are two matching ones on the end that the, one of them failed and they had this in a second hand unit kicking about which got put on their temporary temporary permanent um, so yes uh, we might be looking at a complete unit. And this one's on 449A. Would have originally been on R22. And then we spotted this one next to it. This is still on 22. It's got a leaky oil side glass. Uh, it's very wet there, so and it's looking a little bit short. So that one's addressing very, very urgently, really. Uh, I think I've got a side glass kit on the van, um, but I don't know if I've got enough oil because it needs to change the oil because uh, it's probably be on mineral oil. Uh, with the date of this, uh, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it's ancient. Yeah, so that's another job. So uh, yeah, so I don't know. We'll have to let them know and uh, see what they want to do, whether they want to put a compressor on there. And we could put a hermetic on there, match the duty, that would be the cheapest. Um, well, saying that, it probably wouldn't. I'd probably get one of these rebuilt cheaper. Uh, but then the condenser's knackered, so really need to put a condenser on there and I expect buying a compressor and a condenser you can still buy these condensers um, it probably costs more than buying a whole new unit yeah anyway right I think that's it for this one okay one little final thing I've taped those three ends up I've mega the rest of it I think it's okay um, so we should be able to turn that on and the fan should run well actually it probably won't run because the head press is not going to be high enough, but we can turn it on and see if, see if we get any... Uh, any problems. But if you're going to do that, always have a torch or two going, because if you knock all the power out, especially at night time, when it's pitch black out there, you're going to struggle stumbling about trying to find the uh, fuse box or the breakers. But, uh, of course they've got the brake off inside, which I've just remembered, so we might be wasting our time. It just would have been nice to see that fan motor run, but I was forgetting. We've got a speed control on there, so head pressure's doubtful that it's going to be high enough to get that to run. Because it's quite cool now. Um, it megas out okay, 